BV Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bvmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bvmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Footballsportsapp.com. What is it? It's the first live action mobile sports app played in real time and a cool way to emerge yourself in the game. Make coaching calls just like the pros. Check out the video. Download for free this fall and register now again at footballsportsapp.com. Want to be part of this new exciting technology and make money? Fill out the short form at the bottom of the website and mention TDSS. Again, footballsportsapp.com. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah, fantastic, freaky, funny football Friday. Thanks for joining you, boy. Really do appreciate it, man. Uh, you can call the show at 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. We're brought to you by FootballSportsApp.com and United Games. The first live action mobile sports app played in real time in a cool way to get in the game. Make coaching calls just like the pros. Uh, check out the video. Download for free this fall. Register now again at footballsportsapp.com. Want to be part of this new exciting technology and make some money? You can do it. Uh, you have, I think, five days left to become an affiliate. So if you want to become an affiliate, man, and uh, tell your friends about the app, and if they download it and play it, you can actually make money. Um, Fill out the short form at the bottom of the website and mention TDSS. Once again, that's at footballsportsapp.com. They bring you the Doug Stewart Show. I know we got to get to the Ball Penis Award. I know we got to get to the Ball Penis Award, but I want to mention something real quick. Somebody brought it to my attention yesterday. It's kind of like entertainment related or whatever. You know, I've been watching this uh, Luke Cage TV show, and um, somebody had mentioned to me that Luke Cage, the guy that plays Luke Cage, and his name is uh, Mike Coulter, is actually from South Carolina. I'm like, well, what is this from? This man is from St. Matthew, South Carolina, which is like a, a town over from Orangeburg, where, where I've been talking about a lot today, South Carolina State. And when I tell you, they don't have one light. Like, they always talk about it's a one light town. And they don't have one light in St. Matthews. My four years in Orangeburg, I went to St. Matthews one time to, like, get a, a a tire fixed or something like that, you know, or my car uh, at some garage there in a very small town. Not only do I find out Mike Coulter, the guy that plays Luke Cage is from St. Matthews, but he's related to Viola Davis. That's right. Um, in, the, in the TV show, you know, known for a bunch of movies, but uh, the TV show she's known for is uh, How to Get Away with Murder. They're actually related. She's from St. Matthews as well, St. Matthew, South Carolina as well. And then you know about Chadwick Boseman, the dude that played James Brown, the dude that played Jackie Robinson. He's actually from Anderson, South Carolina. South Carolina's actors and actresses doing it real big. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise his holy name. All right, let's give out this ball penis. Penis tastes better boiled. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to begin our study of the male erection. We are adults. Now, I want everybody together to go ahead and say penis, penis, penis. Penis tastes better. Penis tastes better. Penis tastes better boiled. Come on, y'all, say it. No, man. Peanuts. I'm trying to say it as slow as I can. P nuts. P E A N U T S. P nuts. Y'all know what the hell I was saying. Come on, y'all, say it. All right. It's that time of the week. I don't like doing this, but we have to do this, man. It's time to give out some ball penis. 
And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. If you're new to the show, you might be saying to yourself, what, what does Boyle Penis have to do with a Buster of the Week award? It's a long story. Ask somebody in the chat room. They'll tell you. I don't even agree with the damn story. I think the whole story on how we came up with the name is, is bootleg as hell. But ask somebody in the chat room. They'll, they'll, they'll tell you about it. All right, your nominees for the Boyle Penis Award are Odell Beckham Jr. for just crying. Like a bia about, you know, how he's being treated by other players in the NFL and the referees or whatever. Um, he's nominated. Y'all nominated Chip Kelly for not playing Colin Kaepernick at some point. We've all seen and can understand that Blaine Gabbert just absolutely sucks. Um, Layla Ali was nominated for her comments about not wanting to alienate anybody. That's why she will not support Black Lives Matter, which is really, really disturbing. The fact that her daddy is Muhammad Ali, one of the most egregious line steppers in the history of line steppers, in a good way. <laughs> Man. You go back and look at some of them videos of Muhammad Ali, he didn't give a F. Oh, my gosh, he didn't give a F. Unfiltered to its finest. And then his little girl around here talking about, you know, she trying to take care of her sponsors. I mean, yeah, you want you want to be professional, man. But I, I'll say this, man. If you, if you feel like that, just don't talk about it at all. Like her best response to that question from, Huffing, from the Huffington Post should have been, uh, I got no comment. You know, as well, how's that saying go that they say in the country is better to not say anything at all and leave, you know, um, you know, leave yourself in doubt as opposed to saying something and erasing all doubt. I, you, you know the saying I'm talking about. I, I always mess that damn saying up. I hate that I do that. But just don't say anything at all. If you ain't got something positive to say or for the damn movement or stop killing black people in the street like dogs, just don't, just get one of those, you know, uh, no comment. That's bad, but just do that. So just do that. So y'all nominated Layla Ali. All right, so this week's Ball Penis Award winner is... Overwhelmingly, Layla Ali. Layla Ali had 59% of the vote. Coming in second was Chip Kelly. Coming in third was Odell Beckham Jr. And coming in last, the folks who thought that it was okay to drive Shorty Lowe's hearse by the the blue flame. Which really, I understand why I came in last. You know, I understand why I came in last. This This is Atlanta culture, man. If you're from Atlanta, man, and... You into that life, you into that culture, man. It's a different world. It's as simple as that. It's a different world. I, I totally get it. You know, when Shorty Lowe died, he had just left from the blue flame. And I mentioned this, you know, the Monday or the day after we got the news, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Like, I can't even imagine. Like, Shorty Lowe's had a lot of money since the early 90s. He started that record label. And before that, allegedly, he was in that street life making money. I can only imagine growing up on Bankhead Highway and knowing the fame and the brand that the that the Blue Flame has, once again, home of the five dollar table dance. Uh, I can only imagine how many times in his life the great Shorty Lowe has gone by the Blue Flame. I can only imagine. So I think he would have wanted it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I, I I totally get it. Now, a lot of us, you know, not being from that background or from that street or from that area, you wouldn't get it. I, You know, I understand that as well, but I totally get it. You know, I'm sure they probably put some wings and fries in his casket. <laughs> That's Atlanta. There's nothing more Atlanta than wings and fries. Trust me on that. All right. Um. And they sent him off the way that they thought that he would want to be sent off. I'm sure they had some wings and fries in his casket. And I'm sure they probably put a bottle in there, you know, of, uh, of Moe. Uh, it's actually Moe, not Moet. Or is it Moet, not Moe? I don't know. I've never had too much of it in my life in the first place. 
but I'm sure they put a bottle in his casket and some wings and fries. Rest in peace, Shawty Lowe. Rest in peace to the great Shawty Lowe. Real. Let me read some of your messages in the chat room on Spreaker.com from Sluggo, X Squad, uh, hashtag X Squad. Yeah, Jarvis, I'm already on it. Just need to navigate everything. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Redland Kirk, I feel to make another announcement. Uh, don't nobody in here, chat control, modify, disrupt, influence, make, force me to do anything. That's from Melena Trump. <laughs> okay, what's the backstory on that? I'll find out later when I go through the chat and read it all. I figure out what everybody's talking about. From dollars and cents, he says, better to have people think you're stupid than open your mouth. This is the same. Thank you so much, Mr. Dollars and Cents. I always mess this up. Yeah. It says, better to have people think you're stupid than to open your mouth, say something, and them know you're stupid. And I think that uh, some I've heard some people say it as better to uh, have people think you're stupid than open your mouth, uh, say something, and erase all doubt. I think that's the way I've always heard it in my life. But, yeah, that's it. I mean – Dude, if you don't know the facts like Jerry Rice or you want to say something asinine as, you know, you don't want to offend your sponsors and your daddy is Muhammad Ali, just don't say anything at all. <laughs> From Loose Neck Side, Odell Beckham had his BPA speech ready until he found out the words was peanuts. That's funny. Uh, that's funny. I get it. I get it. From Loose Neck Side. South Carolina celebrities doing it real big, then here come Doug Stewart with some B. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, sir. I thought you were about to put me into the conversation with all of those South Carolina celebrity actors. Are you talking, are you trying to throw some shade. What's your name, sir? Loose neck side. Hold on a second. I got something for your ass. Hold on. I got something for you. And Mr. Funny Man. Ha ha. All right, thank you. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. How about I grab my old lucky pencil here, Mr. Loose Neck Funny Man Cy, and how about I nominate your ass for a Ball Penis Award? <laughs> how about I nominate Mr. Ball? Um, right now, I think you're the winner to win these Ball Penis. Loose... Neck sigh. You got this big KK sigh avatar. How about I nominate Loose Neck Sigh and his own uh, his damn trombone? How about that? Mr. KK Sigh, man. You are nominated for a Boyle Penis Award. You, your trombone, saxophone, and your tuba. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Jack. Yeah. How you like them apples? You always got something smart to say. Somebody always got something smart to say. It is celebrity actors and then Hickam Doug. Yeah, what he he he. Whatever. Take these ball penis and like it. All right, when we get back from the break, uh, we'll run through the Funky Four NFL games that I'm looking most forward to. Uh, we'll read some of your chat, and then we'll shut it down and get ready for the Sports and More show with Vince and Reg. 12 noon Eastern. Yes, sir. Don't go away. The Doug Stewart Show, back in three minutes. radio show are you an artist or a dj bb mobile apps is the solution for you they specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers that's right you can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music watch your videos and view all your social networks in one place you can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages everyone has their phones on them right 
A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for blogs.